Hey everybody, it's Tuesday afternoon and I'm doing a set of four flip cup paintings. So what I'm doing here is I've got some colors and I'm making four canvases that are that use the same colors. They're, it's going to be the same technique, the same colors. I'm going to layer them a little bit differently. But that way, uh, what it will make is four paintings that should look similar, you know. Every painting comes up unique, you know. It's not like if you layer the same paint in the same cups, it still will produce different reactions. But anyway, they should look similar enough that they could be paired together, it, you know, and hung up together or just bought one at a time. Anyway, so these are eight inch by eight inch canvases. So they're smallish, but a good medium size. The colors that I have are this sort of dark navy blue. Um, not a really, really dark, but pretty dark. I have a metallic silver. I have this teal, which is in a cup that had greener paint, but it's, it's more of a blue turquoise green have white paint, I have this metallic like royal blue, and this pale gray blue. And um, so I've mixed them up. They all have silicone in them to make the bubbles. They all flow nicely off the stick, um, but they're not really, really, really thin. Anyway, shall we do it? So I'm going to put one cup on each canvas just so that I kind of stay on top of things. So what I'm going to do, the, uh, the way you layer paint in your cups, it doesn't totally, like it doesn't make a huge difference because the paint's going to do what it feels like doing, but the way you layer them does matter a little bit and it seems like the color that's on the bottom is often prominent in the painting, in whatever painting it is. So I'm going to have different colors at the bottoms of each cup. Um, so, like this one, I will start with the dark navy. Um, and then on top of that, I'll put silver. And I'm layering these all in the same order. I'm just starting with different ones. Okay, so this one is going to get green on the bottom. And then I'll also put the green over here because that would go after the silver. Rather than layering each cup individually, I'm sort of doing them at once. All right, so then these both will get white on top. And I'm sort of making rough layers here. They don't have to be perfect. Okay, so now we've got the metallic cobalt. So I'm putting that in on top of the white that is thicker, or it feels thicker anyway. And then that goes on there. And then it's going to have its own, or it's going to begin its own cup. So I'll start it there as well. And then I've got my light blue, which I'll layer on top there. Here. And on top of here. And then the fourth cup will begin with this same light gray blue. All right. And then I start again with my dark navy. These are five ounce cups, and I want about four and a half ounces of paint in each cup, so I'll more or less fill them, but not quite. My paints are all, they're all different brands. I use a variety of brands. There's just certain colors that I find that I go, oh, I like that color, and so I'll use it um, even though it may be a different brand. So I'm using, I think, Folk Art, Silver, and Apple Barrel, Navy, and um, 
sergeant metallic blue and the the pale gray blue is house paint and the the turquoise is from blick um, okay let's see so green this turquoise green will be the last one that i put on top here excited to see how this will turn out. I've never actually done, well, I've done it with coasters, I guess. I've done several coasters at a time because they're so small, but I've never um, done larger paintings all with the same colors. enough white in these. There, there was only one layer of white in that one. I may actually add some white here. Yeah. We'll see. We will see. Okay, so just because I had a number of colors, uh, there wasn't two, there, it was like one and a half times through all of the colors. So this one has more, like this one has two of white and you know, two of green and two of green, but these two don't have two green. So it will be interesting. I think all the colors, it, because it's all the same colors, they'll look similar, but because they all have different amounts and they're layered, in different orders. Um, I think there will be a lot of great variety. So I'm excited about that. Okay, so now comes the flipping part. So I'm gonna just turn them over like that. tea and then I'll lift them up and see how they go. Let's try the first cup. So I'm, I'm putting extra paint on the corners just because those are the hardest spots to reach. Sometimes they don't get covered because you have a round puddle of paint and a square canvas. And round and square, as we know, don't really go together. Okay, I'm just gonna sort of move the paint into the middle of the canvas so that it can sit for a minute while I flip them all and then I will tilt them all. That's looking so pretty though, I love the colors. Okay, next one. those corners. The corners will get more paint over them, um, but having it wet makes the paint flow more easily. It just, it ends up looking better and you don't lose as much of your paint. Oh, speaking of losing paint, some of it's coming off the sides. So. Wow, I've got amazing teeny tiny cells in here. I hope those stay. Okay. Kind of an interesting white stripe there. Actually don't mind it. Now this one, okay. Before I flip these other two cups, I am actually gonna tilt these because the paint is already starting to come off. So I'm gonna take it to that corner and back. And then to this corner and back. Okay. And now, what do I wanna do? Yes, this way and back and last corner. There we go. 
all right, so the paint's kind of back in the middle. That's looking amazing. Let me quickly tilt this one because it's, it's going off the edge anyway. So instead of losing a bunch, So these cells here have gotten just a little bit stretched out of shape. Wow, the cells are so tiny. I think it's because my paint is pretty thin. We'll do this one next. what this does while I lift this one. Let's see, we'll take this one this way first. And I know when I do it towards me, you can't see all the wonderful how it's going, but, oops. Come on, come on, come on. All right, and last corner. So this one has a lot of silver in it, not a lot of white. And actually not tons of green, so that's interesting. All right, let's do this one. It's already going off sort of this way, so I'll take it that way. And which way next? I guess this way, because it's practically there. Come on, pull over. And this way. And now that way. All righty. So there we have it. There's the, the basic four. And I may do a little tweaking you know, just sort of tipping them this way and that to figure out how to get them centered. Like this one is my favorite right now. I feel like it's balanced really well. This one's really interesting with the green lacing over the blue. This one, I'd like to bring it back this way a bit just to see. If I can get it to balance a little bit more. Going back and forth to try to not change the shape of the cells and the lacing too much. Okay, I think that's about as good as it's going to get. And this one's also very interesting, but I don't know. I don't know that I can make it better. So. We will call that good. Take off my gloves. Let me give you a quick close up. So here's the set of four and it's actually all dry now. I didn't like the close up video that I did while it was wet. So here they are dried and varnished. Beautiful cells. Really, really pretty. I love that metallic blue. 
The cells here got so tiny and delicate because my paint mix was thin. Look at all those. It's so cool. So detailed. And then moving up here to these ones. This is probably my favorite of the four. It's just got a really good blend of all the colors. And then this one had that green lacing on the blue, which is really interesting. So anyway, so these pieces, I don't think I changed the positions of any of them. I just rotated them so that the dark and the green and the silver would move in a logical flow from one piece to the other. And I think it looks just amazing. So I'm not, I'm not splitting these up. I'm selling these as a set. Thanks so much for joining me for this um, collage painting tutorial. And I hope you'll come back to my channel and watch some of my other videos. I'll see you for the next one. Bye.